Hi, I'm Jen Givon, author of River Woman, River Demon. And I'm gonna chat with you a little bit today about some bookish questions. So the first is, what was the last book I read and loved? It was Erica T. Worth's White Horse, which is an indigenous thriller, sort of borders on horror, and it's about missing and murdered indigenous women. Erica is a phenomenal writer, and this book engrossed me from beginning to end. I highly recommend it. My favorite place to read, anywhere that I can get my hands on a book. I actually keep books throughout my house um, in all the different rooms of my house. Um, the, the kitchen, the living room, the car, um, everywhere. And um, I keep one in my purse. So pretty much just anywhere I can steal away a quiet moment to read and um, get absorbed in the story um, while I have some free time, which is rare, but I try to try to do it anyway. First book I fell in love with. That one's hard. I'm not exactly sure. I've been reading since I was a tiny little girl and my parents would read to me to begin with. Um, so actually the first, very first book I remember just adoring that my parents read to me was um, a Richard Scarry book called, and it was like the character was called Stumpa and he had this tuba that he loved to play. And I remember that we would read it aloud and I would just crack up every time Stumpa would play his tuba. I don't even remember what the story's called, but it was hilarious to me. The first book that I loved that I read on my own was um, Madeline LaIngle's A Wrinkle in Time. And I must have read that book 10 times growing up. I adored it. Um, a sassy female protagonist who is kind of an outsider um, and often doesn't feel like she fits in and yet she is the key to saving her dad and really finding out what's been going on with the world and and saving the world and she has more power than she realizes and that's love and that resonated with me deeply as a little girl and um, you'll see in River Woman River Demon that's a theme that I return to again and again in my work favorite place or place I'd love to travel, Mexico City to Frida Kahlo's Blue House. So it's um, kept there as a museum for her. It has all of her things, her artwork, and uh, it's where she lived and painted, uh, where she lived with Diego Rivera. And um, I've done a lot of online tours. You can go online and it'll take you into this 3D tour of the place. And I love it. And I want to go so badly. I'd really love to take my family, especially my daughter, who also loves Frida Kahlo. I have pictures of Frida Kahlo like all throughout my house and especially in my bedroom. And it's kind of a, a fun game <laughs> that we play. Like, where's Waldo? Except it's where's Frida? And can you, can you count how many um, hidden and not so hidden Fridas that I have everywhere? Favorite holiday. This one's hard. I love holidays, um, so I have a lot of favorites. My favorite, favorite, ah, uh, it's a tie between like the Halloween time, Dia de los Muertos, and Christmas time. And I think it's because I love holidays that have several days, if not like a whole week, <laughs> that's devoted just to it. And I feel like that's the same thing around Halloween and with Dia de los Muertos, and the same with. Christmas time that it stretches out and so I would say I really love more a holiday season where you decorate like a whole month in advance and the house just is festive and um, it takes on this kind of like spiritual aspect and, and, and it has a lot of like rituals family time that go along with it um, and it uplifts my spirit especially I would say um, in the fall and the winter when it starts to get dark much earlier and I might actually get seasonally depressed, um, the holidays uplift me and, and keep me feeling like connected to the spirits, my ancestors, my family, and myself. Ebook or audiobook? So the answer here is neither. I really, really struggle to read online um, because I'm always looking at the computer anyway for my own writing and for my editing. And so um, it, my eyes are exhausted. So I love paper. I love print books and I love the smell of them. I love the physical, tangible feel of turning the pages and audiobooks. I actually, I do adore listening to them with my kids, but um, it's hard for me to just listen. I need to have the visuals. Part of that is I have partial hearing loss. 
So I just can't hear it as well. Um, and then the other part is that in order to fully absorb it and become engrossed in it, I personally need to be able to read it visually um, to to really feel the story. So I, I do listen to quite a few audiobooks with my kids. We tend to do young adult middle grade books that way. But if it's just a book that I'm reading for myself, um, paper, print, I still buy um, either hardcover or um, soft cover. So that would be more the question for me, hardcover or soft cover. <laughs> and that would be a hard, a hard sell. Probably soft cover because it's easier to flip through. Hardcover because it's gorgeous and it has, it comes with its own bookmark because I just use the flap as the bookmark. <laughs> so favorite food. Um, I would probably say, uh, just like everything, I'm going to kind of cheat here. It would be like Mexican food. Um, I love a good like taco plate, enchiladas, rice and beans. But lately, all I've wanted all the time is carne asada fries. And so it's french fries with carne asada, cheese, sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. And it's ugh, so good. Um, memory of the library. So when I was a little girl and I told you I used to read all the time, um, I would go to the library all the time. We didn't have a lot of money, couldn't necessarily afford to buy a lot of books, but I would go to the library. I read voraciously. Like I was the kind of kid who was under the covers with the flashlight reading way past my bedtime. And that was such a joy for me and my parents. They knew that I was doing it and they didn't care because I was reading. Um, and so I would go to the library, at, you know, once a week or every other week and just check out this huge stack of books and come home with it. And, you know, the library books were my friends. The characters were my friends. Um, when I was researching and writing my first published novel, Trinity Site, I was at our local library checking out books all the time and I would come home with like 20, 30 books. My trunk would just be completely stuffed full of these books that I was reading as I was um, learning more about my own culture, my heritage, as well as the place, um, New Mexico, that, that we had gone back and um, moved as a family to become closer to our roots and our heritage. And so I was just researching all the time and what came of that research, those like countless hours of hundreds of library books was my novel Trinity site. And go to cafe order a nice decaf almond milk latte. Uh, I'm sorry, not latte. <laughs> mocha. I like a latte too, but mocha is my real favorite. I love, love, love chocolate. Okay, um, you can find out more at jennifergivon.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful time reading my novel, River Woman, River Demon. Thank you.